Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be cooking this amazing chili. Let's get started. Whole plum tomatoes, tomato paste, red kidney beans, two celery stalks, one onion, one whole bulb of garlic, two bell peppers, it doesn't matter what kind, one and a half pounds of venison meat, bay leaves, and one teaspoon of chili powder, paprika, cumin, and pepper. The first thing I added to my pan was the oil. Um, make sure you heat up your oil before you add anything else. My oil is already heated, so I can add my garlic. Stir that until the garlic has turned golden brown. Now that my garlic is golden brown, I can add my onions. And stir that up as well. The next thing I'm going to add is my venison meat. And now let's mix that up as well. Also, make sure to cook your meat well because it's very important for your meat to be cooked. After adding the meat, we're going to add the chili powder, paprika, pepper, and cumin. And make sure to mix that really well. And now mix that in. Now I'm going to add my celery. After adding the celery, I am going to be adding the bell peppers. And now add a cover. Wow, it smells so good. It's gonna smell even better when I add the rest of the ingredients. So I don't have any beef stock, so I'm just going to add one beef cube. And I'm also going to add my tomato paste my whole tomatoes and i'm also going to add the red kidney beans and now i'm going to mix that all together So now I'm going to let the chili simmer for 30 minutes or until the meat is tender. So the most important part about cooking this recipe is you have to saute the meat really well before you add the rest of the ingredients. So while the chili is simmering, you have to make sure that the chili isn't dried out. So I'm going to add one cup of boiling I'm 
So the chili has been simmering for half an hour, so now it's time to taste. The chili is a little bit sour because of the tomatoes, but then the chili powder comes in and evens it out. And also, the vegetables and the kidney beans are very soft. The meat is also very tender. I really recommend this recipe. So please try it out. Thank you, Rob, for bringing this venison meat. It tastes very good with the chili that I made. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please don't forget to click that notification bell to be notified when I post my next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.